I told you I didn't steal anything. I didn't! So just let me out of this dungeon and you'll never see my face again. What are they talking about? Follow you? Oh, um, yes, your highness. Y yes your highness. I did steal one of the crowns in the vault. What made me do it? <sighs> Please, let's skip the formalities, your highness. I know you and your family don't care about the common folk at all. Is the royal family really going to freak out about one of their precious pretty crowns missing? <laughs> I wish I had those types of problems. <sighs> Just let me get out of this place and you'll never have to see a petty commoner ever again. Fine. I didn't know you were so persistent. I guess no one's ever told you the word no before. <sighs> Your father, the king. He's a tough man to convince, let alone be asked for help. What do I mean? <laughs> Our village has been asking for help for years. The drought, the lack of land for farmers, the low wages. We work all day long just to receive little to no pay. And now, most of them are leaving the village to work for nobles because they would get paid higher. Do you think that's fair, your highness? Where are we? The room for servants? Oh, oh no. I, I don't like where this is going, your highness. You'll pay me how much? That's four times what I had in a month. Meals and accommodation would be provided by the palace? You're not going to make me do something illegal just for your entertainment, right? Okay, okay. Just making sure. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. D uh, uh, whoa. <laughs> Okay, calm down. You're way too excited to have me as your little servant. How are your parents approving of this, anyway? I thought they'd blow their heads off once they see commoners step foot in their pristine palace. You convince them? <laughs> Damn, you must be really good at persuasion. Anyway, do I start right now? It's pretty late already. Oh, do I need to tuck you into bed? Is that part of my job? <laughs> I guess not. So I start tomorrow then? Kind of. What does that mean? You'll take me on a tour of the palace. Don't you have guards or other servants that can do that for you? Seems like an inconvenience to do it yourself, but whatever makes you happy, your highness. So this'll be my room? Looks really nice. The bed's soft, too. Thank you. Hmm? What do you mean I suddenly changed my tone with you? I'm just... thankful. If not for you, I would have spent my life in the dirty, cold dungeon. Uh, forgive me for how I spoke to you earlier, your highness. I spoke too harshly when you were only trying to help. I know my anger's justified in your eyes, but it was out of line and rude nonetheless. I apologise. Uh... It's late. Would you like me to escort you back to your room? No. You want to stay here longer? For what reason? I'm sure you'd rather be in your room that is twenty times bigger than this one. To, to get to know me? I'm an open book, your highness. 
pull up a chair and ask away. Are you comfortable? Good. What do you want to know? The questions aren't about me. Now I'm more intrigued. What's life in the village like? It was nice. It was a small village, but it was peaceful. I'd never get tired of taking in the cold, fresh morning air while I get ready for a whole day's work. The people? They're great. Almost everyone knows each other, and they treat everyone like a family. A lot of them started to leave, though, ever since we started having problems with our farms. It's, it's just a difficult time right now. The kingdom has taken over a fraction of our land to have another one of those estates built there. Yes, that one. You protested the idea? Looks like you weren't as persuasive as I thought. Don't worry, it's not your fault. The rest of your family is notorious for being materialistic, and they take great pride in their wealth. Oh? Well, you're very self-aware, aren't you? You're right, it is just stolen tax money from the commoners. That money could have been spent on other things. Does the royal family really need another one of their castles in the countryside? I can sense your frustration, your highness. Everyone can. Judging by public opinions and rumours about you, you're smart, practical, and maybe even rebellious. In your family's eyes, at least. I can imagine it's difficult for you to have different views, values, and opinions when it comes to your family. Can I be honest? I think if the throne went to you, I can see our kingdom flourishing. Because instead of you needing to build castles all over the place, you'd spend your time and resources actually solving urgent problems. It is refreshing to have someone like you in the royal family. Someone that can lend their voice whenever our problems aren't heard by the higher power. Someone that always has a solid plan. Granted, they never listen to you, but the effort's there. Next year you're going to be officially crowned, right? Have they already assigned a role to you, or do you get to choose? You haven't decided yet? It's alright, you still have a bit of time to do that. I know you're going to do great things. Word goes around fast, your highness. Seems like you're always in action. You're always there to the rescue after a crisis. And always coming up with solutions to make your people's lives more convenient. It's just a breath of fresh air. Finally, a monarch that actually cares about people and isn't afraid to do some physical labour. I've always admired that about you. Well, yeah, everyone admires you. Some people may hold a resentment towards monarchy, but not you. You're their hope. Someone who will stand up for the commoners. Why do you think they haven't tried abolishing the monarchy yet? <laughs> you may not be the next successor to the throne, but a lot of people look up to you. What do I think of you? I don't know you that well, your highness. This is the first time we've met. First impressions? You're... all right. Yeah, just all right. Why? Do you think you're worthy of more praise than that? You can always prove me wrong, though, right? I'm the one that should be proving myself? Fair. I'm under your employment as of now. You'll just have to wait and see, your highness. I'll take good care of you.